Hello YouTube, it's Annihilation and there is good news. This video is not about my airbrush problems. This video is about, I primed Uruk Metagamas, finally. Uh, I went with the light gray only because I think I'm going to have some fairly light green skin on him. Um, so he's ready to go, we're going to get the wet palette back out and we're going to brush paint this one while my airbrush is broken. So um, there will be a painting video for this soon, I hope. Um, I am back to work very soon here, um, but hopefully tonight I can do some painting on him, take a video, upload it later in the week. And um, in addition to that, while I was at a hobby shop downtown Tokyo to see if I could find some replacement O-rings for my airbrush, I picked up Space Marine Primaris Intercessors, the easy to build ones, the, the three one. Um, a couple of reasons for this. One is primary Space Marines finally make Space Marines look like they might not have just weird proportions. Like they look better, I think, than the old ones did, the Mark IVs. Um, this particular box, because it is relatively inexpensive, um, the models look good. All three of these models look good. There is a Sergeant and sort of two just regular Marines. Um, and it's not that many. Like, I'm not looking to build a Space Marine Army. Certainly not Ultra Smurfs. Screw them. Um, this box, by the way, did come with a stencil sheet for Ultramarines only, which is really obnoxious. They're like, hey, player Ultramarines. No. Um, but so I did put those together. They're really easy to put together. Uh, I, this, for a beginner, is fantastic. Like, you could literally go to a Games Workshop shop, buy one of these, and you could get painting. You just stick them together, there's no glue involved. Um, you put these things together with just pushing them, uh, like there's a pin hole system. Um, the backpack, the back of the body, the front of the body, including the legs, and then the arms and helmet. The helmet even has like a, a, a weird pivot joint, so you could turn it, but it, it clamps together in between the two torsos, or the torso halves. Um, so these were a cinch to build, like this was five minutes, like the three of them. Um, you might notice the sergeant has no head. The sergeant's head is the only non-helmeted one. He has his helmet on his belt. Uh, let me show you that. It's right underneath his bolter there. Will this focus on the... Oh, maybe. You see it there? On his belt right there? That's his little helmet. Um, anyway, I've never painted a head before. It's right there. Um, so I left it on the sprue. I'll prime that separately and I'll paint that separately. Uh, but I'll get started on these guys. Um, the other reason I bought these guys is because all the other models I have, the Tyranids in particular, um, but also the Eldar, I want to airbrush them. Like I don't want to dig around with a brush until I've airbrushed the the, the underlaying layers, I guess. Like, I want sort of lighting effects that is gonna, just going to be easier than airbrush. Um, these guys, uh, lots of flat areas of color that I can easily do with a brush. They're not that big. I uh, like the... Uh, I always get this wrong. The Swarm Lord. <laughs> not as big as the Swarm Lord or even the Brood Lord. Um, the Patriarch or whatever from the Gene Steeler cult. And then... Yeah, so should be fun. That being said, I will have to use the colors I have and not the airbrush colors that I bought. So quite limited color potential here. Um, but on the bright side, because I'm not going to play these, I don't have to pick like an established chapter. I can just do whatever I want, which is that freedom is going to be fun. Um, I did buy a whole bunch of greys and blue greys and stuff uh, for some anticipating painting lots of armor, uh, both for Age of Sigmar stuff and for 40k. So I think I'll be okay. And I have obviously some washes and shades. So um, the next video will come up within the next couple days and it'll be me painting these things. The camera will go back on the tripod. Um, we're going to go back to wet blending and highlighting and all the other good stuff that I almost forgot while trying to get my airbrush back to work. Um, 
If you do enjoy painting videos, uh, it should be a little bit longer video. Like I'm going to try and paint all three of these at the same time, uh, learning as I go. Um, but I'd like to at least get them into a state where you can tell they have some paint on them. So it's not going to be just, hey, base coat one and then see you later next video. Um, we're actually going to do some stuff. So hopefully you'll enjoy that and I'll enjoy that. And there will be interesting things that happen that we can talk about later. Thanks for watching. Um, if you are new to this hobby or if you simply want more content, hit subscribe. Uh, these videos are coming up fairly regularly. Um, so you won't be disappointed. See you next time.